Since this venerable stadium was erected in the Pennsylvania hills, it has been the home to toughness, to passion, to winning. Welcome to Happy Valley and Beaver Stadium, home to the Penn State Nittany Lions. This matchup today, part of the lifeblood of the sport, a rivalry game where the results will be remembered for a lifetime. As we'll see a squad from the Big Ten, the Minnesota Golden Gophers, taking on the seventh-ranked team in the land, the Penn State Nittany Lions. For the Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, David Pollock, and Jesse Palmer with me. Guys, it's time to get it going. The Nittany Lions will get us underway with the opening kickoff. Looking for an alley from inside his own 20. Buys just enough space to cross the 25. Let's mark it at the 27-yard line. This crowd trying to show them what it's going to be like all day in this house. The give is to Taylor. They opened the lane, and he hit it again of five out to the 33. All right, great little run there. Listen, it wasn't about holding the first down, but what does it do? Now it makes second down easier. The play caller looking at his sheet going, all right, I can throw it, I can run it. Still in a great position. Ready, ready to stay ahead of the chance. What a nifty run there to pick up the first down. This crowd bringing the energy and noise early. There's an example of the offense taking advantage of all the attention the defense is giving this outstanding running back. Remember, he's one of the best in the game. They're expecting him to get the football. So the quarterback says, you know what? I'll just keep it. No one's keying on me. I'm going to get upfield and find an explosive play. They go right back to him. Makes a pass to Marker. Brought down at the 38. It's a pickup of 10 and a first down. Well, the offense knew what they needed to get that first down, so they dial up the running play, and they get just enough to keep the drive alive. And the Golden Gophers have this offense rolling. Wants to throw on first down, using the quick game. They make the stop right there. Good pickup, and still short of the first down. He saw man coverage, and the idea, just get it to my receiver as quickly as I can and let it work, David. See man and, and see the cushion and see the guy backed up a little bit. Now I know I can get it to him right now and get a positive game. I know you want to prepare for every game the same way, but there's just something different about rivalry games, Jesse. It's because, Reese, I think players are aware that games like this define your legacy as a player. Your record in rivalry games is something that people are going to talk about for years and years down the road. You have got to show up and play your best football in games like this. Now on fourth down, they'll send out the field goal unit. And the kicker delivers the three to salvage that drive. And that'll put the first points of the game on the board. It's three to nothing. I'll tell you, this is not an easy place to play on the road, especially at nighttime. This crowd, they get loud. That's the way it's been so far, but they have a nice drive to open it up. They're able to execute. They put themselves in field goal range, knock it through the uprights. They did exactly what they needed to do, taking a 3-0 lead here early on the road. That's impressive. receiver coming across in motion touch pass on the jet sweep they'll rip off eight on that play it's second and two well and on these little push passes timing is so important you're trying to snap it right as he's getting a full head of steam when he gets the ball he's hitting the outside and david it puts the defense in such a difficult spot you immediately have to be rotating when you see that motion so everybody's got to communicate and kind of bump over that's why offenses love to run it just it makes the defense communicate and see if you can just get him out of the spot off play action on first down gonna take a shot snatches it on the right and he's running in the open touchdown Penn State and what 
once he found some daylight, it was time to make a house call. And the defense lets the big tight end get behind him, and you can see it. When he saw his tight end streaking down the field, he knew he had to throw it up in the air, let him go make a play. He does it. Big play for this offense. point is good and it's a four point lead quick strike offense on that three play scoring drive and they light up the scoreboard covering 65 yards on that touchdown pass caught inside the 20 chance for a good return they get him corralled but not before he gets that return out to the 35 minnesota has it back and the gopher offense is headed onto the field David, they had to settle for a field goal last time. Yeah, they moved the ball down the field, Jesse. Just couldn't put it in the end zone in that red area where they needed to be a little bit more efficient. I think they just got to do a little better job of executing on this drive, and we'll see if they can punch it in for six this time. That linebacker saw the express lane right to the ball carry. And a great job by the defensive line getting some push, making them use their resources on him. Linebacker comes free, boom, and making the backfield for a tackle for a loss. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. They're trying to run the football. There's just nowhere to go for the ball carrier inside. He tried to bounce it to the outside. That linebacker way too fast. They met him there and forced the TFL. And the running game has collapsed so far on this drive, and now it's third down. Pressure coming. And the pass rush he is effective, and they tackle him at the 19. On third and long, you know what's coming. It's exactly where you want to get an offense. The passing game has to come out. You go nickel, bring some more speed on the field, and the defensive line gets home and gets the sack to force the fourth down. The Golden Gophers decide to punt it away. Three and out. They got stuck in reverse. They hope the punt can bail them out. And the returner goes down. Penn State sends the offense back onto the field. David, they love to do what they did last time and put this one in the end zone. You ain't lying. They did a great job. The offense was clicking. Everything went well. Palmer, they executed and got the touchdown. And they really were in a nice rhythm as well. And I'd love to see that here on the next drive, too. Just keep doing what you're doing. Everything seems to be working, and you seem to have this defense on their wheels. It'll be a first down from the 49-yard line. Wide out in motion. Off the play fake on first down. Going for the big play. And this is dropped. Incomplete pass. He had a huge gain in his fingers and he couldn't hold on. We anticipate this one being much tighter than the last time these two met when it was a blowout, David. And here's the thing. you got an opportunity right now. you got the football early in this game to show you. This is going to be more of the same, Palmer. Well, we talked to both coaching staffs and players, and they're all very aware of what happened the last time these two teams played. So expect everybody's A game today, Reese, you're right. We expect this one to be a lot tighter. How bold will they be on third down after that last run? To throw, it's Aller. Quickly complete. Now with a great opportunity as they pick up the first down, they've got it at the 40. The Nittany Lions are marching down the field. He might have expected to see this DB up in his receiver's kitchen instead. Nice little zone, and they pick up the first. Man, offenses are getting so good, Reese. Man, seeing the holes in the zone, knowing you're in zone, knowing where to sit down, how to make it an easy pitch and catch for the quarterback, and that's what it was on third and short. On second down, looking to throw. Grabbed in the backfield. It's Singleton. Just making a play, getting it to the 23-yard line. It'll be first down. The Nittany Lions come to the line with a fresh set of downs. Off the play fake on first down to throw. Touchdown, Nittany Lions! And they'll put that scoreboard operator to work and put six on the board.
PAT unit on the field. And the extra point is good, and they have an 11-point lead. So the touchdown drive goes 63 yards. And they finish it off with a touchdown toss from the 23. And that is not what they were after. Kickoff sails out of bounds. An excellent field position for this offense. Looking for a productive play on first down. Hand off from the shotgun. As they get set to snap it, just about to reach the end of the quarter. Got it in the middle, it's Jackson. They make the stop, trying to pick up just a little bit of time to get to that first down mark. A third down play to get the quarter started. Looking downfield, it's Brosmer. Works the middle. Makes that one pay off, and they finally get him down at the 38. It'll be first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. We asked earlier this week, who's your favorite receiver? And, of course, he said the open one. But we know who he really wants to go to on third down. The best one. <laughs> I mean, I think the open one, obviously, the politically correct answer. But you want to find the guy that you got that great chemistry with. You know exactly where he's going to be. You got that bond and that trust. We've seen a ton of this tonight. They just keep giving him the ball, and he keeps running into brick walls. Not much running room again. Better find the earplugs. Here comes the noise, backing this defense on third down. From the gun, wants to pass. Escapes the pressure to it. The quarterback bought as much time as he could, but the defense got to him and sacked him. They are out to send a message in this rivalry game, Jesse, and the quarterback has to keep his composure after taking a shot like that. Man, and I've been on the receiving end of some of those hits in rivalry games. It is not fun. They hurt a whole lot more, David. It just feels different in games like this. It just means more because these guys don't like each other, and you love making those big hits in big moments that they replay throughout the whole next year. Looking for space. It's Singleton. And that's a really nice play. It's impressive. Once well, first down and the defense thinks you might be running the football, you still can line up and get some movement at the point of attack and find a little crease for your running. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. Running back goes in motion. Leaves it with the back. Not much movement there. It's a gain of one. Gets him out to the five. The big defensive tackles in the middle, they're not always the best pass rushers, but they are strong. And I say country strong. When they put their hands on you, you feel it. They lock people out on the line of scrimmage. They create separation. They wrap running backs up. And usually, they don't get out of the midst of those big boys. Quarterback changing the plays at the line. On third and long, he's going to have to throw for it. It's complete to the right. And they'll bring him down, but not before he picks up the first down. Really good job when this play went off script, and that's the job of a tight end. Find the soft spot and stay in the quarterback's field of vision. Yeah, and it's just frustrating to play this kind of style of quarterback. It's always going to extend the play, make it harder on you as a defense. You've got to guard longer in the back end and just did a nice job getting outside the pocket and getting it to the big fella tight end. All right, well, the offense here, they're trying to get this run game established. They obviously don't break off a long run there, but they're just trying to find their footing at this point. Back to throw. It's out. Fires to the wideout. Got him downfield. That is exactly what you're looking for when you talk explosive plays. The defense finally able to make the stop. First down here with time for maybe one more play until the two-minute warning. Wide receiver shows motion. 
The Nittany Lions are on the move. They'll throw it on first down. Fires it down the seam. Oh, and he gets downfield for the big catch. And he'll ramble to the 34 before he's finally knocked down. And the Nittany Lions have it with a first and 10. Use the play fake. Now to throw. Gets away from one. And the ball's on the ground. Now the defense has got it, and they're going the other way. And they'll drag him down after a good return. And this QB has the ability to make huge plays and scramble around and do things off schedule. But that time he coughed it up. Did a great job of getting outside the pocket, but the defense closed in, forced the fumble, recovered it. Great job by the defense. Can't hold on. He had it right down the middle, and he flat dropped it. He's looking for an open man on second down. Just had to get rid of that one. Good job to avoid the loss. Decibels rising as the crowd gets behind this defense on third down. Scanning the field, it's Grosmer. Pocket starts to collapse. Timeout is called, and it's the defense wanting to make sure that everyone's on the same page for this big down. And the Golden Gophers send out the punt unit. Three and out, and not much choice but to get rid of the ball. Great move there. He gets a block. He couldn't find much running room there. Didn't get a lot of blocking, and he'll step out of bounds. The Disney Lions going back to work on offense now. They'll start this drive with a pass. He slings it deep to the left. And this one falls incomplete, but I think the defense was in the neutral zone. It was a free play. Defense a little too eager on that last one, and now it's first and five. He'll set up to throw. Unloads to the wideout. Just too much juice on that one as he airmails his receiver out of bounds. Well, the quarterback knew where he wanted to go with the ball. His intended target just wasn't open, so the quarterback made sure he put that football in the stands. On second down, he's looking downfield. He spins that thing down the middle. And it slips through his fingers, incomplete. That would have been a huge game if he could have held on. We'll see if they go back to the air after the incompletion. It's third and five. From the gun on third down. Oh, he loves to fire downfield. That's what's so scary about this offense. They've got guys in the perimeter that can change the game in one single play. And you saw it right there. Too much speed on the perimeter to create that explosive play. He's going to pass. A shot toward the end zone. Those two not on the same page. It's incomplete. And that's where quarterbacks, you know, they got to be very assertive. They got to believe what they see and really pull the trigger. But the longer they wait and they get off rhythm or off timing, a lot of times it ends up in incomplete passes. Dropping back, it's Aller. Using his feet to buy time. Oh, he drops it right down the middle of the field, and he couldn't make the play. I wonder if the receiver heard footsteps on that play. Defender, very, very close, but you'd like to see your wide receiver haul that in. Quarterback checking off. On third and long, trying to have a big completion here. And he was hit just as he released it, and it falls to the turn. Now on fourth down, here comes the field goal team. This is not a straight-on kick, a 42-yarder from the right hash. No good. After the miss, the lead still at 11. First down here for the offense. Out of the gun, they'll run it inside. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. Clock still running, almost certainly the last play of the half. 
from the gun. Running back gets to give. And he's taken down after a short gain, and that'll do it for us here in the first half. We played two quarters here. Time to go to Kevin Connors in our halftime update. The kickoff team lining up to send this one away. Number 99, set to advance on the football. He'll bring it out. It's Singleton. He was looking for more running room, but none to be found as he stopped at the 23. Penn State sends the offense back onto the field. They had this lead to start the third quarter because of the passing game. Didn't get a lot done on the ground. They did, but the quarterback is in a rhythm. That was obvious. And Can anyone catch him? He's at the 30. Inside the 10. And he ran away from the crowd, and he'll take it in. Touchdown, Penn State! Now they've got a little breathing room. They are in firm control of this game, guys, but you never want to let up in a rivalry game. Because it only takes one play. We know how much of a factor momentum can be in these types of rivalry games, David. So this game's still far from over. Man, this is where my leadership and my experience comes into play. You got guys that have been through these fires, been through these rivalry games. You know the swings happen quick. Now you gotta swing it back your way. They'll try to add another to their lead. And with the extra point, they push the lead out a little further. What a way to send a message. Huge play in the running game. One snap, and you've got a touchdown on the board. Kickoff team is on the field. They'll try to drive this one deep. From inside the 20, chance for great field position. He's brought down after a good return, gets it out to the 31. The Minnesota offense is headed back onto the field. Off the play fake on first down, wants to throw. Moves around to clear up the vision. Trying to make magic with his feet. At midfield, he's got room. And how about that run? A huge gain and the slide at the end. Get a big play like that last one. You flip the field, you change the momentum. Now it's first and 10 from the 38. And a pickup of eight opens a world of opportunities on second and two. After the good pickup on first down, let's see if they keep it on the ground. From the gun, the running back has it. This has been happening all night. They stubbornly keep giving him the ball, and the defense is all over it. Guys, this offense is already reeling down. Multiple possessions really need to cash in on this drive. On third and short, the power run here. And he was fortunate not to lose yardage on that play, able to wedge it back to the line of scrimmage. And they'll send the field goal team back out for the second time tonight. It is true as he puts three on the board. A penalty marker is down. If this is on the defense, the offense is going to have a choice to make. Do you dare take the points off the board and go for the touchdown? They'll run it from the gun. Not a lot of daylight there. Let's give him one to the 14. Going to work on second down in the red zone. is still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. Back to pass. It's Grosmer. Quick strike complete. That throw and catch gets them down to the six, and the defense is running out of answers. I love offenses and quarterbacks that are willing to take the easy stuff. Take those easy throws that are guaranteed to get positive yards. Yeah, I'm going to take big shots down the field, too. But don't forget, it's easier to pick up second and five, third and five, than it is when we start getting those long yarded situations. Really nice play call there because the defense might have been thinking on third and short in the red zone. They're probably going to run the football instead. They throw it, catch them off guard, and now they've got first and goal. That changes the sequence, doesn't it? Like, you think first and goal, maybe I can count this several times, and now you get the loss, and now you got to rethink things a little bit. Do I want to throw the football now? Do I, do I feel comfortable even running the ball? So that was a big stop for this defense on first down. Relentless, tough running gets it down to the four. And on offense, you know this is four down territory. You have to come away with the touchdown. You're getting boat raced in this game right now, and you're going to have to make this possession count. Yeah, definitely because of the slow start, now putting yourself behind the eight ball. I think this... He snares it in the end zone. Touchdown, Minnesota. Great 
example of how a second half can really change everything for a team. No doubt. First half looked bad. It looked like it was bleak. It looked like it was ugly. But now you're starting to get it turned around. More drives like this is what's needed. Ready to try the point after. And with the extra point, they draw closer. It's 21 to 10. They went 54 yards on that last touchdown drive. And they capped the drive with a four-yard touchdown pass. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Able to find enough room to get it out across the 25. He's brought down at the 26. The Dinky Lions going back to work on offense now. Now they need to put something together to answer that last score. There's a lot of pressure, too, on this offense to have to execute at a high level. They've got to score points, David, but they can't go too fast because their defense right now is tied. And I think that's the difficulty being a play clock. Like, I have to balance all of those things. My defense is a little bit tired. I can't put on the field, but i got to be aggressive because this is a back-and-forth type game. So a lot to process and think about. To the air, it's Aller. Throws to the wideout. And that's going to fall to the ground incomplete. That was a physical matchup there. Third down coming. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. On third and long, he has to throw for it. Getting some heat. He's got it downfield for a huge game. And chunk plays are the name of the game, and they get one here before the defense finally makes the stop. The Nittany Lions have it with a first and ten. Takes this handoff and headed to the right. He is going nowhere. Stop at the line of scrimmage. Got stuffed on first down. It's second and ten. He'll try to pop the draw. And a decent game there before the defense makes the stop. Well, this offense came into the game knowing they wanted to be physical. They wanted to establish the line of scrimmage. And they're running downhill right at this defense. And they're churning out positive yardage early. They're trying to get to it. Just too much of a rush. And down goes the quarterback just behind the midfield stripe at the 49. The Nittany Lions will send out the punt unit. First punt of the day, and he'd love to lock them up close to their goal line. He'll call for the fair catch here. Minnesota has it back, and the Gopher offense is headed onto the field. They cut into the deficit the last time they had it, forced the punt, and now they can really make this a game. And you're right back in this stuff. You're creating some momentum. You got to score. You got to stop. This offense, Jesse, has a chance now to make this an absolute barn burner of a ball game. Yeah, it's one play at a time, though, right? You're not going to get it all back in one play. Just go out, do your job, execute, keep this thing going down the field. And if things go well, like David said, we've got a game. Trying to get to it. And that pressure just engulfed him. A sack for this defense. The Golden Gophers will call on their punt team. If I'm the offensive coordinator. I'm thinking about chipping this defensive end with running backs. I'm leaving my tight ends in to help this tackle because we cannot block him. He's already got two sacks. Penn State sends the offense back onto the field. They'll have another opportunity to extend this lead after punting last time, David. And it's important to put that punt behind you. It's, it's over. Let it go. Get back to what you were doing that built this lead. Yeah, and defense, obviously, they won a few downs uh, that last drive. So you got to put them on their heels here. Maybe mix up a few personnel groupings and try to show them some pictures they haven't seen. They'll put it in play from the 41 on first down. Looking for a gap. It's Allen. Picks up the first down. There to make the stop, and we played three in this one. Linebackers trying to create some confusion. Inside the 30 at the 29, it's a first down. Hunt. Hunt, 
They'll test the right side. Knocked down after a three-yard gain to the 25. At this point of the game, the offense has the lead. The offensive coordinator knows they want to keep running the football, so he's going back, he's looking at his playlist, and he's saying, which runs work the best for me in this game? What can I lean on right here to make sure we win this one? After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. Off the bootleg, wants to toss it. They're bringing heat. Couldn't find anyone open here, and he'll live to fight another play. It'll be third down. He didn't have a whole lot of time to get rid of that one. The defense was all over him right after the snap. No wonder that thing fell in. They run into a bit of trouble here. Third and long from the 25, and the last thing they want is to get knocked out of field goal range. Trying play action. Fires to the wideout. Complete to the left. And they make the connection, and he's got it at the 10-yard line, set up with a red zone opportunity. The Nittany Lions trying to pay off the threat on first and goal. Motion from the offense. A first down run on the doorstep. And he's loose, and he'll take it to the house. Touchdown, Nittany Lions! And the running back gets a second rushing touchdown of the game. You want to continue to feed this guy. You can tell he's got a nose for the end zone, knows how to get in there, knows how to make things happen. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And now with the extra point, they're up by 18 here in the fourth. So that scoring drive took only six plays. And the capper on that drive, the 10-yard touchdown run. But see what he can get done from inside his own 15. Just never had a chance to shake loose, and he'll be brought down at the 24. The Minnesota offense is headed back onto the field. Last time, David, it was 1-2-3 kick. The last drive, that three and out, sometimes that puts your defense in a bad spot. you got to get a drive together here so you don't wear the defense out. I just think, David, too predictable in that last drive. they got to do something here to get this defense on the heels. Feeling some heat. And the pass rush is effective, and they tackle him at the 19. And the Golden Gophers racing to the line in the hurry up. Well, the problem for this offense now late in the game, trailing by a bunch of points, is that the defense knows they're going to throw the football. And right now, offensively, they cannot protect the edge. You saw the speed coming from the outside. He was able to get to the quarterback for another negative play. The Golden Gophers will line up to punt it away. Doesn't say much for your drive when you're looking forward to the punt. Makes a move. The solid return there offsets some of the punt yardage and really sets up this offense nicely. The Nittany Lions going back to work on offense now. Quarterback quick pass to the receiver. A solid pickup there before the defense is able to make the stop. And these little touch passes, man, they're just the easiest completions ever for quarterbacks. Palmer, I bet you would have loved being able to just flip it forward. That counts as to your completion percentage, which is good. And then it's all run after the catch, so pretty easy for a QB. You wouldn't have been the only All-American. A shot for the end zone. And they can't hook up going for the big play on second down. Now it's third down. We'll see if the offense can move the change after that incompletion. Wants to throw. It's Aller. He'll take another shot here. And the pass. It's picked off. And they'll close in on him after a good return on the interception. The offense set for a first down play. He wants to throw. A little screen to the running back. Still running at the 40. They make the stop, but not before the screen has hit him for a first down and much more really good execution by this offense. He's looking to throw it. Unloads to the wideout. And they took a shot on that one, but couldn't make the connection. It's incomplete. After the misconnection, it's second down. 
And that's just the kind of game it's been for this quarterback in this offense. You got a great game plan all week long. You're watching it throughout practice. You think you're going to have a chance to light up the scoreboard, but they're just not able to hook up. You've got to give this defense a ton of credit. They've done a great job in coverage. They've been breaking on passes. They've had their number, and that's why they're leading by as much as they intercepted. Knocked down quickly after the pick, but that offense says thank you very much, and they'll have it at the 43. Line gets set, first down. On the ground, trying to pull the plug on this clock. And he's able to find a little bit of running room before they get him down. Man, that's the advantage of having a good coaching staff that teach these players in this type of situation with the lead late in the game. You want to stay in the field of play and keep the clock ticking. They do that after that nice run. Looking for a deep man. Fires the pass. Intercepted. Trying to take it back. He goes out of bounds, but he creates the turnover and a great opportunity for his offense. I understand being aggressive. I, I get that. Play callers in today's era are aggressive as they've ever been. But at the same time, we got to understand fourth quarter, I got the lead. I've already messed it up once. I might want to try to think about what this guy can really do well and think about maybe milking make, make some of that clock. The clock will stop with this timeout from the offense. They'll get a chance to regroup on the sideline. Going up top on first down. Complete downfield. What a throw! Not a lot of room. He fits it in beautifully, and they've got it at the 30. The offense gets a quick timeout at this point. Every second is precious. Quickly out to the tight end. They stop him almost immediately. Short gain there. Still a little ground to cover to pick up the first. He'll just keep slinging it. He caught it! And to the end zone! Touchdown, Golden Gophers! Nice job by the offense going down the field, putting points on the board, but you're still down a couple possessions. Still need some good things to happen. You need your kicker to go over there and get warmed up. We need an onside. We need to score some points. We need a lot of things to go right to win this football game. They're definitely up against it. Time running out, down two possessions. They'll try the onside kick. Timeout called here by the defense. It's the first one they've used this half. They're definitely up against it. Time running out. Down two possessions. They'll try the onside kick. They got it. Able to recover the onside kick, and they get the offense right back out there. Here comes the offense on first down. Looking to move it through the air. And that incomplete pass caused by the big hit on first down. Second down coming. They'll line up for a second down play. Looking to throw, it's Rosmer. Throws to the wideout. Wide open downfield. Quick timeout call by the offense after the play, trying to preserve every minute possible. Game on the line. Offense has the ball. Down one score. Time winding down. What is better than this? A sensational grab down the field there as they try to at least put a positive spin on the end of this game. And the Golden Gophers will have it first and ten. He's going to pass. He's got it on the move. They'll mark him down at the two. The excellent execution on that throw and catch. Clock is still running, and they have to get everybody lined up. The throw is incomplete. Third down coming. Not a lot of ground to cover and not much to defend. A big third down in the red zone. They'll try to get it through the air. Had to get rid of it quickly. Another incompletion on third down. And here comes the field goal unit for the second time tonight. And they can get it to a one-score game here, but they'll still need the ball back. No good. After the missed field goal, still down by 11. Penn State sends the offense back onto the field. 
Now the chance to take a knee and just put the finishing touches on this victory. Yeah, and this offense has done their job, man. They've been so productive, built the lead. Listen, their defense has pulled their weight as well. But now, Jesse, you get to exhale, you get to breathe, and you know we got the W, and we played well. And we got to think about where we're taking our girlfriend and the parents for dinner. What side are we ordering with our giant steak? We've earned it in this game. Now it's time to go celebrate. To the ground. He's got it again. And he's to the 48-yard line. That'll be good enough for a first down. So with the late lead, they're ready to just drain the clock in victory formation. No matter how much college football changes, realignment, all of that kind of stuff, rivalries are consistent, and winning rivalry games, well, that's just the best. Because they hate each other so much, so you take the field against your rival, you're able to put up forth a performance like that. That is worth its weight in gold, David. Unbelievable effort here by the winning team of bragging rights now for me. Bragging rights for a while. It's, it's a fun thing to be able to accomplish. Now we also got to take in the next couple games because this is always, there's a letdown that naturally happens after these big rivalry wins. We feel like our chest 